Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we finished coding the design for a product uh, list component and we have written some HTML and bootstrap code here inside this uh, HTML page or HTML uh, document. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create the route for our product module. So Whenever somebody clicks on the product link in the navigation, they will be redirected to this product list page. Now this product list page will show the user a list of products that we have in our database. Now when that, when a single product in that list is clicked, then the product details will open in another component which is called as the product details component and the user can see the details of that product. Now, what we are doing here is we are creating a product module. Instead of adding the module or instead of adding the path inside our app routing module, like creating a product path here, instead of doing that, what we are doing now is we will go ahead and create a product routing module that will take care of all product related paths. So this app routing module takes care of on the entire app, but our product routing module will take care only of the product related path so today I just have two components later I decide to add 10 more components related to the product like order and so on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these routes inside that one product module so whenever somebody wants to access a product route whenever the client wants to access any specific product route they will ask the product module product routing module to redirect them to that route so now let's go ahead and open our terminal right click on the client app go to tools open in terminal when your terminal is open go ahead and type the following command so the command that we are going to type to generate a product module product routing module I always keep saying product module it's the product routing module because it's going to take care of the product routes so it's going to be called as ng generate m that is for module our module name is called as products and the module we have to specify the routing tag here so when we are creating the any specific routing we need to specify that we add this routing tag over here Let's go ahead and click enter. So if you notice, I have not entered the products forward slash products in order to create the module inside the products folder. Angular is smart enough to understand that I want to create a routing module for products. So it looks for a folder called as products and then it creates a routing module inside that folder called as product routing module so i don't have to specify like we had to specify while creating the component the folder in which we want to create the component no we don't have to do that here angular is smart enough when we are creating a routing module for specific component it will create it inside that folder all you have to do is specify the folder name products and it's going to create the routing module so now a routing module is created let's go ahead and open the product routing module file so we have some code over here which is similar to our app routing module if you look we have imported some classes here and some components and then we have added our path we are going to do the same thing inside the product routing module as well we will add all our product related routes here and then we will import the required components into this product routing module so the first thing that we want to do is inside our routes let's go ahead and create the routes we need to route our products so to create the routes first thing we will do is open and close the curly braces and then the first key that we are going to provide is the path key and what path are we targeting here for the product routing module so let's say for example I have www 
tech howdy dot com and then somebody wants to access products so when somebody uses uh, this link they will be redirected to the product list component so we have a product list component which displays the list of products but if somebody does not specify where they want to go then what and where we have to redirect them we don't know that so we know that when somebody clicks on the product link in the navigation the app routing module will redirect the request to the product module and say hey product module somebody is requesting product forward slash and they have not specified anything which means anything after this forward slash is, is blank so where do you want to route this request to then product module will say okay it will check under its route if somebody is requesting a blank path then please redirect that request to component product list mode component so if somebody is asking for a blank route redirect them to the product list component very easy now the next path what happens if somebody wants to update the product so or view the details of the product or view the product list itself so let's say product list somebody directly copied a url like this and pasted it in the browser and want to see the list of the products so this request will go here to the products route and the product routing module will check if we have a route for product list so where do we redirect the request to we redirect the request to product list component now we need one more route which is what if somebody wants to view the details of a single product so we have two components inside product one component is the product list component the other component is the product details component which provides a view for a single product so somebody wants to view that product so obviously they would have to specify the id of that product like this so we need to have a path here inside the product which is going to redirect the request to the id and here we are going to specify a colon by doing this anything that is requested with id from the products should be redirected to the product details component so now we will have all the required routes here inside the product routing module we don't have an update route because the update functionality is available in the product list component itself because we are going to update the product via a pop-up model which is going to be available inside product list so there is no separate view for updating the product so all we have is for a single product a list of products and a blank a request which is basically going to handle if there is anything there is nothing provided after the product url so that's it for the product routes now so the route is now imported inside the imports of the angular module and now it has also been added to the export so if any component is requesting it it will be exported to that component and they can use it so that should be it for the product routing module and in the app routing modules we didn't add the routes inside the routes instead we created them here we can do the same thing over here we can add this route inside this route array and then import the routes array inside the route module for root method so these are two different techniques that you can use when we are creating routes so now what i have done here is i've created the routes inside this array and then imported them here so it's the same thing so 
this should be it for our product routing module video tutorial in the next video tutorial we will check the routes inside the browser to make sure that they are working but as of now they wouldn't work but let's see if they work because we have to add some more functionality into our application in order to make these routes also available only to authorized users so as of now if we are able to access these routes uh, then there is a problem because these routes can only be accessed by authorized users authenticated and authorized users so we have to add authentication and authorization on these routes so that nobody else other than authenticated and authorized users can access this we will learn everything in step by step process in this video tutorial project but for now let's end this product routing module and please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy